Good morning, good morning, folks. Me and Austin come over to Romano State Park this morning. Gonna do a little fishing, try to catch some crappie. Uh, there's a there's some decent crappie in here. I, I've caught a couple of good ones, but this it's it's kind of like Elmer's. It's loaded with little ones. Uh, we've already caught a couple. My phone was I thought I had my phone in my pocket and it was on the charger, so I had to walk back up there and get it, but. I'm going to show you this place first, and I just want you to see how beautiful this place is. It's kind of like a, a little Oklahoma hidden gem. It's, uh, I love this place. It's beautiful. It's got a, got a nice little camp, camp spot down here. You can park your RVs right next to the water. Um, the only thing bad right now is there's something, I was told that there is a pipe or something that goes through the dam that's leaking. Uh, not in the pipe, but along the side of it. Water's like making its way along the side and uh they're afraid it's gonna you know get a good rain in here and quite a bit of water go through that little hole and then make it bigger and bigger and bigger before you know it the whole dam blew out so they've got a pump on the sitting on the dam and they're actually pumping water out of this lake i guess gonna drop it down low enough that they can work on that dam and get it fixed so i'm gonna turn it around here and show you just kind of give you a, a view of this place and uh don't let the low water uh deter you from ever coming to this place because it's gorgeous here um let me just turn this phone around and i'll show you guys all right i'm going to start here on the campsite part um they've got some trees planted you know because these campers are there's a few camping spots that have trees around them but most of it's just out in the open but they've got trees planted like right next to every camp spot so eventually there's going to be shade there's a little dock there, and that dock is usually, I mean, you can see the water line is way down. I've never seen it this low. But look at the scenery out here. It's it's gorgeous out here. I love this place. I mean, this is not, you just go 20, not even 20 miles. You go 15 miles, 20 miles west of, or uh, east of here towards where I live, and it's nothing like this. It's flat. There's no hills. It's just wheat fields. And then, you know, just a few miles away and you got this beautiful little lake surrounded by these jip hills. I know this camera's not doing it any justice, but there's Oss. It's a gorgeous little lake. It really is. And then back to the... It's, it's not very big either. I mean, it's a small little lake. I think you can have boats out here, but you can't run a motor or something like that. You know, it's got to be a below a certain horsepower. I think most people come out here and kayaks. It's a great kayak lake. You see kayaks out here all the time. And little two-man bass boats and you know I mean you can get a regular boat in here and those guys I've seen them in here just putting around on the trolling motors. But we walk out here on the end. They got this little this little pier that they built and uh, that comes out on the water. You can see both sides there. But yeah, I love this place. I love it. It's beautiful out here. Got a lot of, there's a lot, there's quite a bit of standing timber in the water, especially back over in that way. But like I say, the, the lake is, it's loaded with crappie. Um, you can, I mean, there's some, there's some good, there's some good crappie in here, but there's lots and lots, you know how these little lakes and they don't get, they don't get managed well for crappie. So they kind of take over and that's what's happened to this one more people got to keep them and I, I say that like i'm i'm like i'm gonna keep them. i'm not keeping anything today but yeah see this is austin's got one here and that's about you know you'll catch them that size maybe a little bit bigger um, but there are some you know 12 13 14 inch crop in here because i've caught them <clears throat> but yeah that's a that over there is about the end of the lake i think it kind of runs it narrows down into like a it like a river channel that goes back that way over in that corner and then just past that that uh hill there that's directly in front of us uh there is uh, a springs i can't remember what they call it uh but you can hike over to it but it actually there's water just literally gushing out of the side of the out of the side of the hill it makes a really pretty waterfall and it runs down into the uh like a river part of the lake and they got a big golf course out here 18 holes that's actually up on top of that hill 
I don't know if you can, I don't know if I can zoom this in or not. You can kind of see a, there's one of the little hiking trails that goes up there. There's hiking trails all over this place and we've done a few of them and they're really nice. And then up on top of that hill is actually uh, one of the holes, well, one of the tee boxes uh, for one of the holes on the golf course. Beautiful place though. It's, uh, I think it's like five miles or something like that north of Watonga, Oklahoma. Um, and I couldn't tell you the name of the highway. Uh, you just have to go north out of, out of Watonga and follow that road. It makes a big curve back to the east and then you'll see the signs that tells you how to get here. But yeah, they got this, this campsite. There's several campsites around, but this is the only one that's right on the water. There's some primitive camp spots up on that side. Um, but they're, they've got, cause it's a state park. There's a, there's a few different campsites here and there, uh, throughout the, throughout the park. And then on the, on the other side of that hill a ways, I'm not sure, or no, it's that hill over there. I'm not sure how far over, um, is the lodge. They have a big lodge and it's got a, uh, Swadley's or boggy bottom, uh, kitchen makes really, really, really good food. That place right there is just the worth drive out here just to get the scenery and, and you know, get you a bite to eat. Uh, it's a, it's, it's just a really cool place. And there's park rangers. I'm sure we'll see one before too long. Yeah, there's one pulling down on a little gator right now. That might be one of the maintenance people, but park rangers are constantly, you know, patrolling and, and uh, we camp here quite a bit, so... Uh, it's a really good family place, good safe place. There's always somebody. I mean, like 24 hours a day, there's some there's somebody that works for this park out here, uh, whether they're up at the office or a park ranger just driving around checking things out. Like I say, it's just kind of a a little it's a little oasis for around here. I mean, this is this is not normal for my area. There's a there's this line of jip hills that stretches stretches across the kind of west central Oklahoma and they dammed a little chunk of it up and made this pretty little lake and got a state park and it's uh it's really a gorgeous place to be but um, i'm gonna i'm gonna shut you guys off for a minute get get put on the tripod and get my fishing pole and see if we can catch some fish we'll see you guys in a minute do what where's that big old black truck you still at my little hole over there i don't know i'm actually gonna go out for this Little white copy? Yep. That's the second and third one I've caught. What color is that jig? Green and pink. Green and pink. Show the show that camera that you guys gotta see these jigs. My it's pretty funny actually. I bought a jig tying kit so I can make make my own jigs. And I made like probably six, but my daughter's like dad can i make a jig i was like i don't care everything's laying there so she uh i put a i put a hook in the little clamp for her and kind of showed her how to do it one and she's been making jigs like crazy and that's what austin's catching all his crappie on is one of the little jigs she made very artistic some of them she called some of them unicorn jigs because they got all them di different tail and it's what's funny is they probably would catch some, they'd probably catch a fish actually crazy colors but the biggest one. Oh, I just missed a really small one. That was like a perch. Here you go, Dad. You know this place, Romano's here. They all, they also, uh, they stalk trout in this lake every year. <clears throat> I think the first, <clears throat> maybe the first or second kind of weekend of March is the last time that they stock trout. But this lake, because of the uh, because of the underground or underground springs and stuff in it, you know they 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 stock them in several little 
places in Oklahoma they stalk the trout. But uh, they they'll die off. You know, the, our summers are too hot and the water gets too warm. But you can actually come here and catch some giant trout. Like I'm talking some big, you know, five, six, seven pound trout. State have, record was caught out here. Yeah, have been caught out of this lake because it's got kind of a deeper creek channel that runs through it and with the springs that flow into this the water stays cooler and then you get in the bottoms and that creek bottom that runs through the middle of this and the water stays a you know a nice cool temperature enough that some of those fish can live so there are some there are some big trout in this lake so any of you trout fishermen out there we catch them every once they're I like to catch, catch them for bait because they're they're really good catfish bait trout are. And this is a, there's some big there's some big blue cats in this lake also. We've got a few big blue, uh, blue cats. The last time we camped out here, we kept a couple of trout for bait, and we just set up right on the other side of our camper there, about kind of the beach area, and come out at night and uh, and and did some catfishing. And we caught a few really nice channel cats. But there's, you know, there's nice channel cat in here, but there is some big blue cats. sister's going to be proud to catch a fish on that jig she made. Yeah, she'll have to try it next time. She goes fishing. Every time Austin does one of the videos, he always complains about my sniffling. It's like, I can't help it. I can't help it, man. Allergies, you know? Blow my nose. Well, he inhaled that. He get that like he had an eight or three days. That's a pretty decent trophy right there. Coffee. I mean, that's a flyer. Yeah. Look at the colors on it. That pattern, that's pretty cool. It's got these little crank baits. I've never used one. I mean, it's tiny. Let's see how, let's see how it goes. You never know. There's something. There's something in these weeds. Snake or something in there. I can hear it. Got one. Oh, it came off. I caught my first crappie on a crankbait and he came off. A little bit better fish there. A little bit better. Not a keeper, but he's bigger than what we've been catching. A little bit bigger. 
I like catching them on this. I've never, I've never caught uh, fish with a crankbait before. They hit it hard, man. They hit it real hard. Waited sometimes. I really didn't see it like that. I don't know how. I break off now. No. How in the crap this happens sometimes? I mean, it's twisted and all kinds of stuff. That's somebody's tied a knot. How did it even do that? Don't get it. Braided is some weird line. I sure like the way it changes the feel. Yeah. The sensitivity in it. Alright folks. I think that's it for us. For Romanos today. We caught a few little fish. Caught a couple of decent crappie. They were decent for out here anyway. I'm debating on whether to run over to Canton. We're pretty close. It'll only take about another 20, 25 minutes to get there. I'd hate to be this close and not go. And I would, I would like to catch some bigger fish on this little crankbait. That's pretty cool. I've never used a crankbait before. I've never used a crankbait for bass either, which I've never fished for bass really. Like actually fish fished for them. So, I'm going to try to talk myself into going over there. Um, call my dad and see if he wants to run over with us. He just lives down the road a little ways. <laughs> see if he wants to ride over. But, if we do, um, we'll see you guys there. If not, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, well. We've been having some issues getting our videos loaded. I, don't, I know I posted that we were supposed to get them on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And we'll try to post them on, you know, 6, 7, 8 o'clock on, on one of those nights. And for some reason it's going slow. I don't know. You can get up in the next morning and it's not even got it loaded. Something's up with it. We're not doing something right. Which ain't good. Pay that much money for a laptop and it ain't it ain't working the way we want it to but it's not the laptop i know it's something we're doing but we're getting it figured out we'll get it figured out i think our videos are you know they're getting a little bit better every every time we do one uh, austin's getting really good at his editing um it's just a learning experience for for both of us and we appreciate you guys coming by and watching uh we've had some of you guys that watching every single every single video we put out and we appreciate it um it's really crazy we was looking at the what was it called the analytics youtube demographics demographics or something and like f over 50 percent of the people that are watching the videos aren't even subscribed so I, we would appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button um hit the thumbs up hit that bell icon so you know when we go post a video You'll get it and you can watch it. And uh, we're growing. I mean, a little bit every day. You know, we get about ten subscribers a uh, day. No, well, no, That's not that much. On the YouTube thing. Yeah. Anyway, let me do the talking. You little jerk. Look at him. He's such a jerk. Him and his hippie haircut. He's trying to draw a mullet so he can be like Mullet Man. That wouldn't be bad. You guys could. You guys could hook us up with Mullet Man. You guys go talk to Mullet Man and tell him, hey, got a kid over here that's growing a mullet because he wants to be like you. Well, he wants to have hair like you. I don't know. Anyway, try to get us on a video with Mullet Man. That's what I'm, that's what my point is. He's pretty cool. Anyway, we appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully this isn't the end. We go run over to Canton and see if we can't do something over there. Uh, 
catch some bigger fish anyway. There's some pretty good sized crop. There's some pretty good sized fish, all the fish in there. So I think we might run over there and see what we can do. We can't stay real long because we got weather coming in this afternoon. It's supposed to be bad tornadoes and big hail and stuff. And I sure don't want to be over there and have to drive through or anything. Um, until next time or until later, whichever comes first, we'll see. Later, guys. God bless.